Hi, I'm Sarah. I work at the University of Otago and look after in India for our international office. I'm delighted um, today to bring with you Vibor and Nihar, who have come through the Bombay Stock Exchange to study Masters of International Business at the Otago Business School. So today we're just going to talk about the University of Otago and the Masters of International Business and life in New Zealand. So I'm going to start with you. Why did you choose Masters of International Business and Bombay Stock Exchange and the University of Otago? That's, that's a really good three-in-one question. <laughs> <laughs> I, so the reason I chose Master of International Business is because I always wanted to make a career in that. I was always uh, very much enthusiastic and curious about how multinational corporations work in a global context yeah. so because of that. And like coming, coming from India you, uh, and studying commerce and finance especially, you grow up knowing that Bombay Stock Exchange and Mumbai especially is the, cap the financial capital of India. And I got to know about this course through Bombay Stock Exchange Institute and I knew I got to know that they have this is uh, I, I guess Bombay Stock Exchange Institute or Bombay Stock Exchange itself is one of the oldest institutes in India institutions in India and uh, getting to know that that Bombay Stock Exchange has a tie up with the oldest university in New Zealand I, I, I knew that I knew right away that the roots were strong yeah, and just got to know that they have this course, this tie-up, where we can study one semester over there from Indian professors and get to know people of Bombay Stock Exchange and then coming over here and get to know people over there. So this was like a good transition point for me. So, Absolutely. yeah. Uh, and how about you? So pretty much what we both just said. And uh, I, I chose Master of International Business also because, like adding on to his point, I, also because it allows us to choose from different streams. So if I want to study a subject or a paper in marketing, I am allowed to do that, which might not, which we may not get an opportunity in other university, and that's what makes this program different. And also coming from Bombay Stock Exchange, we have a hands-on experience of learning about the subjects before we come here. So that makes us more prepared to like just dive in 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 the course uh, after coming here. Fantastic. Yeah. So you've come from Mumbai which is a city of 21 million and you've arrived in Dunedin which is in, if you don't know, Dunedin is located in the South Island of New Zealand. New Zealand is a country of 4.5 million and Dunedin itself is 130,000 people. So it's a very, very different atmosphere in Dunedin as it is to Mumbai. I'm delighted to see University of Otago is ranked in the top 1% of universities in the world. So it's a very good solid education here with fantastic academic support. So firstly, we're going to talk about the academic side of things and how you found your studies here in semester one. And then we'll talk about life at a travel. How does that sound? That sounds perfect. Yeah. So study experience so far. Stu study experience. Oh my God. Where do I start? So all the professors that we have, we they, they themselves have a global experience. And we study one subject from a German professor. We study another, other, another subject from a Chinese professor, one from Irish, one from Australian. So we get all the perspectives from all the people around the world who themselves have some global experience. Fantastic. So that, that, is, that is like a different experience at all because I have never had that experience. And then the, what makes it really good is that they have the ability to study their students and they know at what level each student, uh, each student is and every person is and they can like guide us through that. They know where we are and they know where they want us to be because they, they get to know where we want to be. And then they act as a real, say, guide to get us from here to there. Yeah. yeah. And just like elaborating what PJ mentioned, like uh, when, when we, whenever there is a first class of any lecture, uh, there is always an introduction session, yeah. session which in which we have to tell about ourselves and what our goals are and what we want to learn from this paper and that's really important for them to know about us yeah and that's what makes it different yeah, yeah adding at, uh, i would just like to add to this point the introductions how it, that is more uh, that is really helpful is because the cohort is also international ah yeah. so who's in your cohort uh, the professor the, the students they are from different parts of like different parts of the world and we get to know like if we are, we there is always a group project in in every paper, and we get to know about their culture and how how to deal with like 
people from different diversity uh, and like come up to one point and one like finish up with one project. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So even though we're at the bottom of New Zealand, yeah, yeah. you're getting a truly international experience yeah, yeah. on campus. Pe- people yeah. from uh, Southeast Asian countries, people from oh. South Asian countries, people from East East Europe, West Europe, USA, from everywhere. People Fantastic. Have, yeah, that, that is that great. Yeah. So that's the study side of things. And academically, you're both doing really well, so that's great news. Um, how about the difference with living between Mumbai and Dunedin? Uh, <laughs> We have a lot of time over here. <laughs> we have a lot of time over here. In Mumbai, we used to travel for three hours, like to and fro, and it was a fast-paced uh, atmosphere over there. It was uh, it was a hot and humid place. This is a cold place with a lot of rains, with a lot of winds, as you just told us that if you just, if all the viewers, they can get, get their extra vision and look all the way over there and just keep going, keep going, keep going. There's Antarctica over there, right? <laughs> so the winds come right directly from there. To there. <laughs> and the, the, uh, the life here is slow pace, it's, it's chilled out. Yeah, we, we get to enjoy the aspects of both work and life over there. Fantastic. And, and what other activities are you involved in apart from study? So apart from studies, I get to know about the Career Development Center uh, and I enrolled in as a career ambassador there. Uh, in which I get to talk to different people about the services of Career Development Centre and that also forms a part of Otago Extra Program which, which increases your employer, employability after, after you graduate and I think so that's a, very, that's a very good thing because coming from a different culture altogether we, we need to have a hands-on experience before working in actual uh, firm which is in New Zealand and they really, the firms in New Zealand really value that thing, that you have an experience before you are joining the firm. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there are so many things to do over here. As, for example, there's, I, I'm always in touch with the Career Development Center. They are so helpful. They are so helpful. By the way, guys, this, Thanks, this here is our career ambassador. So when you come from <laughs> India over here, this is the guy to talk yeah. to about careers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the university also has a very active volunteer center yeah. and they and it is really good to see that mental health and mental well-being is a, is a good uh, conversation oh, over here. Yeah, yeah. So I'm involved with them. Oh, I'm, I'm involved with Silverline, the, the mental uh, wellness part of the Unicrew volunteers and we are working on developing a well-being guide for all the international students that are going to come. Oh, so yeah. we are working on that currently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, also the bo- both of us, we also took some entrepreneurship papers. We are also interested in that kind of things and the entrepreneurship Scenario, the startup scenario in Dunedin is is fantastic. Right. We are both enrolled with Audacious, if you know, the you student fantastic. program. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's so much. There's Unipol, there's the Moana pool, there's surfing to learn, which we have yet to learn. Yeah. We are just yeah. waiting for the summer to go. Waiting for summer. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So, um, just to go back to the startup scene in Dunedin. So, this is something that, for a small town, has an incredibly vibrant startup scene. Audacious is a program that you can join. Um, it's free of charge. It's on top of your study, but it really gives you good access into understanding New Zealand businesses. It's fully supported, and I'm really looking forward to hearing how you guys get on with yeah, that. Yeah, um, yeah. Rachel, who runs the program, is fantastic. Amazing. amazing and amazing. you yeah. can learn heaps more about it on our website. So it's definitely something to look into if you're interested in how businesses develop and start in New Zealand. New Zealand being a small country is quite different to India. We have a lot of small to medium enterprises here and again a great foothold into understanding in New Zealand industry as a whole. So I'm just going to wrap it up because we don't want to keep you guys too long. What if you've got one highlight that you can share with us about studying here, what would it be? Hmm, that is Wow, just one. I had to put just one out of all the hundreds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just one out of all the hundreds. Uh, I would say the the peer support. That's the peer awesome. support, yeah. That, that, that stands out from everything else. Great to yeah. hear. And how about yourself? Yeah, uh, I would elaborate on this point only because I'm because it's, it forces me to think about the same point <laughs> and uh, the, the support. When we talk about support, you just need to ask anyone yeah. anything and they're ready to help you with everything you want okay yeah. fantastic well thank you so much i'm really thank glad you so you're much, enjoying uh, your time in chicago so yeah. and we look forward to welcoming more students from the bombay stock exchange thank you <laughs>